Hey everybody, my name is Danielle Darby and I'm a product manager on the video team at Adobe. And I'm super excited to be here at VidCon here with you guys. Over the past few years, we've been really um, reaching out to creators. We've been here at VidCon for the past few years as well. But talking to creators just like you and witnessing how you're changing the game for online video. You're posting content monthly, weekly, maybe even daily, sometimes even on the go in whatever spare time you have in your daily lives. You're engaging with the community on multiple channels, Instagram, YouTube, your own vlog, wherever it might be. And most of all, you're authentically you, telling your own individual unique story. And we at Adobe have been really inspired by the stories you have to tell and just what you're doing for video. That's why while we're here at VidCon, we're sneaking a new app that we've been working on over the past few years, partnering with creators just like you, called Project Rush. Rush is an all-in-one video creation app that takes the best of the industry standard tools that you may have known Adobe for, but it works on both your mobile devices and your computer. And everything is synced to the cloud, so wherever you go, all of your stuff is just with you. So Rush takes the industry standard tools, Premiere Pro for editing, After Effects for motion graphics, audio from Audition, reimagines it into a lightweight, easy to use experience so that you can get your videos to your social media channels quickly. Um, to help me show you Rush today, um, I'm gonna bring up one of my very favorite creators, and her name is Shameless Maya. You may have heard about her from her own YouTube channel where she shares a variety of you know, tech, fashion, lifestyle videos, but really what's inspired me is her inspiration of her own shameless transformation. So please help me welcome Shameless Maya. I'm super excited about this because as a creator who is always on the go, like being here at VidCon, I don't have access to my laptop and sometimes I need to make last minute edits. So I'm really excited about this project that I can be able to be creative on the go. So My channel started out as a social media experiment on what would happen if I was shameless for a year. And it was born out of my insecurity and fear of being an artist um, and just being behind the camera and living in New York City, it's just like, girl, you better get it together. So I was inspired to be shameless and just see what would happen if I took my skills as a photographer um, as well as an actor and remix it into the world of YouTube. So it's been six years and <laughs> She's, she's shameless. <laughs> so this is Rush launched on my computer. Um, these are all of the projects, whether I've started on my phone or on my computer. Everything is synced to the cloud so I can pick up whatever device I have in front of me and continue working. But today we're going to create a new project using some of Maya's footage that she shared with me. But we're going to create a short teaser using some of Maya's footage. And this is from her curly hair tutorial. What Rush is doing is it's transitioning me to the editing experience, it's taking all the media that I just selected from the prior screen, and it's already laying it out into a video so that I've got something to work with. So we got a little preview of what we're gonna work, be working with today in Rush. First things first, we're gonna change this to a square video since we're gonna create a short teaser for social. And I think that in itself is already crazy <laughs> because I always edit horizontal. And for Instagram, sometimes I wanna put a post in my timeline, it has that option right there versus me going into like the sequence settings and like create a new sequence, what's the, what's the math, <laughs> Google. <laughs> but it does it for me right here. And then I'm seeing that this intro isn't working in the square frame because it was built for landscape, but I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate it so that I can keep the background there, but I'm gonna click on it and just scale it down to make sure it fits into the square frame. I know. The fact that you can just drag Jagged and change over. the ratio. And also expand your audio. Since Maya's talking in this video, I want to see as I'm editing to her audio. I know that in this clip, she's uh, going to do something that I want to edit out. <laughs> that. That's not that bad. One, so I'm just going to take that little <sighs> out of there. The I'm outtakes. Gonna... What you see Split before it. the chop down. As you can see, Rush's timeline helps me work efficiently. It moves everything down. And I like that it automatically pushes it down. She's gonna say something about her curly hair tutorial that she posted on to YouTube. So when she says that, I'm gonna add some text. I'm just gonna find Queen that. Afro. <laughs> I haven't done a curly. So that's where she says, I haven't done a curly hair tutorial. So right there, I'm gonna add some text. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the title panel. So when I open up this title panel, I'll see a bunch of built-in templates that are built right into the product. 
These are all professionally designed and animated in Premiere Pro and After Effects. They're called motion graphics templates. I don't know, have, have to know anything about animation or keyframing. I can just pull some of these pre-built templates right into my project. And if I don't find one that I like, I can search for hundreds more in Adobe Stock. And a lot of them will be free. Which I like because as a, like, I don't even know what to call myself, like a beginner editor, an editor who has skills, <laughs> but not too many skills. Um, this has the ability to use the motion graphic effects that you can use in After Effects, but I'm like, I don't want to learn it, I don't know how to learn it, so this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play that My hair tutorial forever, and that's mainly because my hair hasn't been, like, naturally. So it's an animated title, but obviously it's not gonna work because it's covering Maya's face, so I'm just gonna pick it up and drag it down. <laughs> I can <laughs> scale it up a little bit. And then I'm going to change this text just by double clicking on it. Here, so I can customize the way the text looks. I can customize the way the colors look. So I can change this to something like purple. But these are fully customizable templates, so you can really make them your own. Um, this is the feature that I love the most, <laughs> being able to edit on your phone. And I'm almost ready to share it, but I noticed that the music's just a little loud. And I want to hear Maya's voice a little bit more clearly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that soundtrack open up the audio panel on the phone. All of the refinement tools are on this bottom bar. And I can just, with one click, auto-duck the music so I can hear Maya's voice clearly. And Rush automatically identifies all of the audio that you bring into the product. So any voice clips are automatically tagged as voice, music's tagged as music, so that it does the right thing when you click auto-duck just that one time. You can reduce the duck here. You can see that right in the timeline. And I'll play it back so you can see. I haven't done a curly hair tutorial forever, and that's mainly because now I can hear Maya a little bit better. In Rush, we have a dedicated sharing experience so that you, know, you can share your videos out to your social media channels quickly. You can add your title, your description, your tags. You can even change your privacy level and schedule your video right here within the app and with one click, be able to render and share your videos to all those places. We want to work with everybody here to build the product before we bring it out to the rest of the world. So this is the link to sign up for the beta. Please go there and sign up. We can't wait to hear what you think and get your feedback.